Alright, so we got uh, we got uh, the, the hit character Marshall Marcel from uh, the one and only uh, show that people apparently watch, Dungeon Meshi, aka Delicious in Dungeon, versus Rosebud. Um, I love DDD. I love me Gunner. DDD's my least favorite character. Oh. Yeah, DDD doesn't die, and you can also kill right here. My, oh. G doesn't die. What did I say? Reflect it, gets it by the up air, and does lose there. Is that set? Okay, that was game one. I'm going to, or maybe game two, but the set is not over. Wait, what? Thank you. 
PS2. Yeah, gonna have a lot of trouble landing with DDD. We know that's his biggest struggle. Or no, landing is fine because he has like no end lag, but me Gunner is good at just setting traps. He is a trapper. So like that grenade right there, even missile, slow missile, or like a weak charge shot. Good recognition, get up attack to re-hit with the Gordo there. But now Marseille, Marseille, the DDD. Uh, we'll learn their name later. Uh, the DDD, again at ledge. Uh, Beast, they're not gonna kill the 100. Was that the sour spot? Do you know it's the sour spot? Catching it way up there, Gordo's not gonna help. Losing your stack at 100%, that is huge for DDD. He gets to live to outrageous percents. Yep, not able to eat the charge shot in time. Great recognition from Sled knowing that like if he starts getting sucked in, or they start getting sucked in, that like the charge shot will not hit at close range. Good up tilt, good coverage. DDD, an amazing ledge trapper. Uh, very, you gotta play very patient versus both of these characters. Poor Incineroar. <laughs> no, no, it sucks. I feel like that's the only thing I talk about. So let me actually talk about like the game. Yeah, great wall, fair, grenade, missiles, that up air. Yeah, just not letting the DDD land, but able to land with that nair. See any follow ups? Good, patient, down tilt, reflecting bomb. Gordo, yeah, no, that bomb is honestly one of the best tools here. It re I did not know that reflecting the fast missile resets the um, resets the speed, but like sucking in the slow missile and shooting it back just sends it flying. That's incredible. That's good knowledge. Yep, beautiful. That air dodge is gonna be killer there. You're set up to Gordo fair, Gordo back air, like just anything DDD wants to do off the side. That will connect and that will kill. Catching the jump there, DDD not having good jump height, but does have multiple jumps to make it back and a relatively good up B. Can I get this is very and slow air speed. And, and we know that the meat gunner sled is gonna be catching these off. Pretty, yeah. Just honestly, don't do anything. Just let percentage. Even game. Just like that. Not intentional, but it worked. Oh my lord. Maybe it was intentional. I don't know. I'm not the DDD player. <laughs> yeah, Gordo using a good job to get away. Up throw, up air. Actually working on a heavy character with no good jumps. Or and a frame for air dodge. Bomb hitting the missile on the way there. That's incredible. Can I get David Jones? David Jones to set up. To set up two. All right, we're at last his situation here. We know the Sands won last time. The Meat Gunner won last time. Up air, that will take the game. Yep. Even if you got that correctly. We have a game three situation here. I wonder if we're going to run back to PS2 or not. Small battlefield or battlefield. Try, try again. Battlefield. Yeah, um, gonna be kind of easier for DDD to land, maybe on the platforms, because DDD I would say wants to be either below or at the same level as the gunner. Only gunner, you know, as you seen catching with up air, just laying traps, maybe an extension of traps on the platforms, so we can see here from sled. And also, yeah, just safety from landing. Like, if DDD's gonna land on you, there's a platform in the way. Like, Battlefield is really good for me, Gunner, because I feel like you just have a way easier time just camping at corner, not necessarily at ledge, but like underneath the platform, and just releasing everything you have to do. And a character with slow airspeed can have a very difficult time trying to get under that platform and trying to evade all the traps that you're, all the annoying projectiles. Nair and air not gonna work. So you Gordo here into F Smash. Not gonna connect, not even the shockwave. A beautiful timing from Sled. That fair, now we're gonna have to see a slow recovery. But we got the fair from Sled to able to push him back. Okay, I'm trying to read an air dodge there, that's fine. And dash attack a little too early, up smash gonna miss. Lorenzo, sit down. Sit down, yeah, sorry, I did not notice you were here. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well. That's good. I played a loser. He's Gunner. Oh, wait, that beat up the up. Beautiful. I play the loser of this, and I don't like any of these characters, but at least I have the some up experience. Smash. Yeah, so we have a zoner and a... A zoner. <laughs> also a zoner. 
Yeah, no, we were talking about a lot it's, of the. It's kind of it's kind of a weird matchup because it's like I think it's even because um, King DDD's specialty is his Gordo, but but Meat Gunner has all the tools to push it right back at him. I mean, that's what it is for most characters, why people think DDD's bad. But overall, like, we know DDD likes to land with aerials as really low end lag on his landing leg. Yeah. And Me Gunner's able to just put, like, a slow missile, or, like, the charge up to, like, the beginning of a fast missile, or the bomb, or a slow charge shot. Or well, we've seen up air from Sled as well. Yeah. Just great coverage from Sled. However, DDD, as we know, lives to insanely high percents. He does. He's also very difficult to, to, to approach safely. Correct. Yeah. And ledge too. Both these players are doing a very good job of getting out of ledge really safely and like not getting extremely punished. Oh wow, great job from Sled. Recognizing the dash attack probably hitbox is gonna end. Or that you have intangibility on the foot on your up B there. Yeah. It's just hanging there. Oh Yeah, no, that's the best thing you can do against Gordo though. Not much you could have done there. You were dead to a fair if you were a dodge. Even game three here, last stock for both players. Now all the Gordos are missing for the most part. Yeah, they are. Oh, that was clever. That was, that was a clever part. Oh, come on. Great down B from Sled. Aiden actually told me once he challenged one of the best me gunners in the world, Captain Cito. Captain Cito, yeah. yeah. Captain Cito, Cito um, on, in an online tournament. So I think, so I think that they are very comfortable with this matchup. Are they the DDD? Yeah. Nice. DDD yeah. me gunner. Yeah. He's like, it, 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 like they're like. And they use similar setups too, right? Yeah, a little, so. a little bit. Yeah. It's like, it's like. For me, Gunner, you're gonna want to like do that little bomb drop thing at the ledge. Enough to will kill. Yeah, to cover to cover their get up options. So they're proud to be forced to jump or roll. Yeah. Oh, we just got audio. <laughs> we just got audio. 